All right, so the title of this video very nearly was Synology just ruined Synology photos. And thankfully, ruined is no longer the correct verb. That was actually from my testing and I thought it was completely destroyed. That's no longer the case. I think the correct actual term is now made slightly worse, but in a way that I don't think the vast majority of people will actually notice. So thankfully, Synology Photos is safe, but Video Station is not. Video Station has been axed. I'm gonna hold that off for another video, really talk about my thoughts on that. I'm really gonna kind of focus on what has happened in DSM 7.2.2 and the basics here. By the way, this should be the very last video we post before hitting 100,000 subscribers. And so if you wanna do one last push, please subscribe. We're really trying to hit that a little bit earlier. And a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed this year and all the previous years. I don't know how we're here, quite honestly. Really appreciate that. But let's jump right into it. So DSM 7.2.2 has come out and I don't think anybody's actually gotten it on their device yet. So it's not just gonna show up in control panel for at least a few weeks in my experience. It is currently in Synology's phase rollout, which basically means it spends the first couple of weeks where you can download it manually, which is what I did here, and install it. And then after that, it shows up in everybody's NAS. So it does take a few weeks. It's a good rollout. So if there is a problem, it's isolated, hopefully. So the reason I thought Synology Photos was completely ruined is I went in, I updated, I read their release notes, and I saw this part about how these processing of H.265 and other codecs was going to have to happen on device. And I'm like, okay, this seems like it should not be too big of a deal. We'll see. And so to go through and test this, I took my backup of my phone from my real NAS to my production NAS that's on 7.2.2. And I stuck all of the images in my personal space. And I have an iPhone. I primarily shoot HEIC photos, which are H.265 compressed images. That's not exactly accurate, but it's close enough to be true for the codex perspective. And when I opened up my personal space, I saw this. And this is why I thought Synology Photos had been completely and totally ruined. But fear not, this is only the case if you do exactly what I did and also do not hook up your phone. We're gonna talk about all this, but Thankfully, this is not the big issue that I really thought it was because you can still enjoy all of your images and share all of them just as you have been. There's just one or two caveats in the way that they get processed. So if you scroll up, hey, look, everything is okay. I opened up the mobile app, got logged in, and everything worked. So it's quick summation, emergencies over, it's still gonna work well and you're not gonna be in too much trouble, but I do wanna talk through what has happened and what the changes are. And it all comes down to licensing fees for codecs, which is absolutely thrilling. The H.265 codec, also known as HEVC, is a very expensive codec to license. I don't wanna go super in depth about what codecs are, but there are codecs for pretty much everything. Music, photos, videos, all have different codecs on them. And those codecs, at least 95% of them, are licensed. So somebody owns a patent on those codecs, and if your device wants to interact with those codecs, like display them and things like that, and encode them, you have to pay a license fee per device per year for those codecs. And H.265 appears to be a very expensive codec compared to H.264. If you look Windows 11, just now got a built-in H.265 codec. For the longest time, you actually had to buy H.265 from the Windows installer store because it was that expensive. Even Microsoft themselves were not gonna foot the bill for it. Apple for the longest time has paid for it and used H.265 and HEIC for their images for extra compression. And that is the reason why when I opened up my Synology photos, I saw no images here because all of these images are taken in a format called HEIC, which is basically H.265, but a single frame. So it's the same codec, just video versus photo, as far as I can tell. And so because of that, DSM 7.2.2 no longer has the ability to build thumbnail previews. I could download it and view it just like that because it's just a file, but I could not see it in Synology Photos 
and that sucks. Synology wanted to stop paying the license fee for HEVC H265. It's hard to say how much it actually cost them realistically. As far as I could tell, it was 20 cents per unit per year, but they may have different pricing models for that. Either way, it's a small but noticeable expense on their bill and they decided to ax that expense. So if you just copy a bunch of HEIC photos via SMB to the Synology Photos directory, this is what's going to happen because the NAS itself cannot process them. If it processes them, it now has to pay the license fee. So what they're doing is they've got two different options for doing this. You can either use your phone to automatically process all of these, which is why I realize that, hey, this is not ruined because 95% of people are backing up their phone and that's where these files are coming from. And so if I go in and I open the Synology Photos app, it is automatically going to start processing all of these files for me. So it's built into the app. And essentially what it's doing is it is using the CPU of my phone to create JPEG previews of all these HEVC images. And so they are loading in right here. So essentially what this is doing is offloading that. And once it's offloaded, hey, everything works great. Everything works just like you used to be able to. All good, because now internally the NAS is using a JPEG file for all of this, which has that much cheaper codec that they're willing to pay for. This process will occur when you're just backing up your phone anyway. So I don't think most people should find this a huge deal. It may be slightly annoying when you maybe dump a bunch of files in there and then you just have to open your phone to do the processing. But this is how they're sidestepping the licensing issue on here. Now, all the processing is being done on the phone's CPU with the phone's H.265 license. The other option is to use Synology Assistant. Basically, there is a desktop application that will do the exact same thing. So this is how Synology is getting around processing those images. Is it annoying? Yes but now it does appear to work and it's not nearly as much of a problem as I originally thought it was going to be. Okay, so that's the update to Synology Photos in 7.2.2. Overall, it seems to be safe. If we look right here, this is an HEVC file and I can play the video just fine. So thankfully, it does appear that everything is working as it should, as long as you do hook up your mobile app on there or download Synology Assistant for desktop. If you open up your Synology photos and all your thumbnails are gone, just like I showed at the beginning of this video, go ahead and make sure to hook it up to your phone or your computer and give it some time to process all those files. They're getting around a license here. I'm gonna be recording a video on DSM 7.2.2 and the death of video station, everything like that, but I need a little bit more time to make sure everything's good on that. So that's gonna be it for this video. Subscribe, thank y'all, and thankfully, this is not nearly the dire situation that I originally thought it was. It is more of an inconvenience than anything else. If you have any other questions, leave those down in the comments below, and have a good one. Bye.